We have an update on a citizen-led effort to end RV camping along the Embarcadero in Morro Bay. KSBY reporter Austin Herba has a reaction to last night's city council vote. In a four to one decision, the Morro Bay City Council voted to end RV and tent camping at three locations in the city. And I think that camping is wonderful, but it has its place. Waterfront RV camping on the Embarcadero is coming to an end. 19 RV slots are now set to close in April. Pretty popular program with visitors, especially in light of everybody moving to RVs and van, you know, van life and that kind of stuff. The city opened the sites in an effort to generate extra revenue for the Harbor Department. A group of citizens pushed back, citing concerns over parking, noise and compatibility. We're a fishing village. You know, we're, we're, we have history here and uh, changing the character of our city is, is daunting to a lot of people. And it's not that we're against RV camping, but this is dry RV camping. And there's, there's camping sites where people can go and have showers and, and uh, facilities and dumping grounds, but not on our Embarcadero. That is such a beautiful, pristine location. The group gathered 869 signatures, which accounts for 10% of registered voters in Morro Bay. Based on the number of signatures they gathered, um, I think council understood Look, there's probably other avenues of revenue we could pursue uh, that maybe is, is more popular with our community. The city council ultimately adopted an ordinance ending the pilot program. Some now expressing frustration that the issue didn't go before voters. I was disappointed in the fact that the, uh, the council voted against having the, having the voices of the citizens heard. One of the things that we wanted, we wanted this to happen in perpetuity. Now, as for what's next, this citizen-led initiative will become law. Reporting in Morro Bay, Austin Herbach, KSBY News. According to the city manager, the RV spots generated more than $100,000 a year for the Morro Bay Harbor Department. The department is still facing a budget gap of $600,000 to $1 million per year.